Before I go into step-by-step -step detail, I want to give an overview of the application process. You want to start by peeling the release liner and you want to stop two inches before the end of the film. Soak the film. It's better to have too much water than not enough. Go ahead and finish removing the release liner and get the last two inches. Give your window a nice coat of water. Apply the film to the glass. Slide into position. Make use of your factory straight edge. It'll save you one, one less cut. Wet the film to let the squeegee slide and squeegee. I like to squeegee everything down, let gravity work for you. And then trim. I like to start in the center and trim to the corners. your edges. Make sure there's no water or air pockets left. And in general, that's all it is to the tinting process. Now I'm going to break it down step by step for you. You're going to need some quality window film. The higher quality, the better, the easier the job is going to be. You're going to need a cleaning pad steel wool cleaning pad, ultra fine or double lot. You're going to need a soft rubber squeegee. Um, this is the only one I recommend and it comes in our kit, our tool kit, as well as the trimming knife. And, and these make such a big difference in your job and, and how easy the job will be to you is having quality tools as well as quality film. Outside of that, you're going to need a few common household items. Baby shampoo, painter's tape, single edge razor blades, measuring tape, safety glasses, very important, lint-free paper towels, cotton towel, dishcloth of some sort to wipe up any excess water, and you're going to need a high flow spray bottle of some sort. It can be manual or it can be pump up. I prefer the pump up. Much easier on your hands. Another equally important part of the tending process is the mixture of your soap and water. A good rule of thumb is two tablespoons per gallon. If it's too much soap, your film's not going to want to stick and it may roll off the glass, so add a little more water. If it's not enough, you're not going to be able to slide your film around and get it in position, so add a little bit more soap. I start off by just giving one, two, and fill it up. Once our soap and water is mixed, you'll want to adjust your nozzle. It's a very important part also. You don't want a, a stream. You want a nice fan of water. When using the squeegee, hold it with a firm grip and your fingers equally spaced. There's two ways. You pull the squeegee or you push the squeegee. In the center of the glass, I like to pull the squeegee, but on the edges, I like to push. And either way, the squeegee is going to have to have some moisture for it to slide. So wet the glass or the squeegee, and even the film. If the film's on there, whether you're applying the film or you're cleaning the glass, it works the same. So on the edges, like I said, you push, but you only use the first inch, inch and a half. So kind of bend the squeegee and push on the edges. And then in the center, you pull. When using the trimming knife, you want just one eighth of an inch sticking past the guard itself. And what you're going to do is you're going to use the guard to push the film against the frame itself tilt the knife into the film to make your cut. Let me show you. Push the film 
against the frame, tilt it, and make your cut. It's really easy. First thing in the preparation process is we want to check for any excess caulk that may have seeped past the frame itself in the manufacturing process. Some windows are worse than others. Some windows don't have any at all. So you can take your trimming knife and just trim and then take your single edge razor blade and you can kind of whittle it out. Like I said, it, it must be removed to have a nice clean edge for our film. Okay, once our caulk's removed, we want to clean the entire surface of the glass itself. Start by giving a nice little mist, a little spray. <clears throat> Take your cleaning pad, start at the top, work down always. And we want to clean the entire surface, top to bottom, really well. If you feel any nicks or bumps while you're cleaning, it's probably overspray, paint, or some kind of grime. You can go back with your straight edge, make sure it's all cleaned off. <clears throat> In fact, your corners are a lot of time, or spots that's missed, that's not cleaned very well. You can take your straight edge there as well and get the corners and the edges. Then you can clean the whole glass if you'd like with the straight edge. Guaranteed way to have a really clean window. Once you feel like you have all the dirt off, we want a squeegee. Again, wet the glass lightly. And remember, I like to pull on my edges. So um, the first pass I make is just the first inch or two of the glass. You can wipe that dirt off on a paper towel. And we want to get the interior of the glass. I don't start against the frame. I'll come back and get the edges. I like to start about an inch or two away and just make a nice pull all the way down the window. And then come back and get our edges. Wipe any dirt that may be on your squeegee. And again, you want it moist where to slide. Just the first inch or two of the squeegee and pull all the way down. That's where your dirt is, is on these edges. That's why I wipe it off on the paper towel. And to ensure that we've got it all, take your lint-free paper towels and you can go around the edges just to make sure that you really have got them clean. That's where a lot of times dirt and grime is left on the edges from pulling. There we have a clean window ready to be tinted. Next thing we want to do is cut us a pattern. And I like my pattern to be roughly an inch larger than the window itself. So however you feel comfortable about rolling your film out, whether it's on your table or on the floor, it's totally up to you. You can use scissors to make that cut if you would like, or your trimming knife. And like I said, the most important part is just making sure you have an inch extra all the way around your glass. Once our pattern's cut, we want to separate the release liner from the film itself and start on the corners add a piece of tape on each side and separate the release liner, the clear part, from the actual film itself. Once that's done, you can go ahead and remove that tape if you would like. And you can even use that piece. We want to add a piece to the, to the part that's going to be against the glass to the top there to hang it next to our window so we can pull the release liner off easily. Okay, before we start the actual application process of the film to the window, there's a couple things I want to go over. Number one, you don't want to try to apply the film to the glass while the window has direct sunlight. Even if it's still warm from the sun, you want to let it cool down to room temperature. And the reason being is that the heat from the sun and the heat from the window is going to bond the film too fast to the glass. 
not giving you adequate time to position the film as well as to squeegee the excess moisture as well as the air from the film. So keep that in mind. And number two, before you do any trimming, you want to make sure you have a nice, sharp, fresh point on your trimming knife. And if you don't, you want to click that first unit of your blade off before you do any trimming. Just clicking that first unit of your blade off and now you're ready to go with a nice new sharp point. Once our pattern's cut, we want to hang it next to the window that we're going to be tinting. And start by removing the release liner. When you remove it, you want to pull it straight down and you want to stop about an inch or two from the bottom and then soak your film. Soak it really well, top to bottom. And then go ahead and remove the release liner. It's very important to get this out of your way to where you won't slip and fall on it. It's very slippery. And then wet the last two inches. And then go ahead and give your window a nice spray of water itself. Window film usually has a factory straight edge. We want to make use of this. It'll save us one less cut. So, line it up with your frame. Once we have our film in position and our factory straight edge lined up with our frame itself, we want to give the film a little mist of water and we want to remove any large air pockets that may be in there with your fingers. Okay, now we want to set the film in place and I like to start by just making an X or a cross in the film. And again, check, make sure we're still lined up and then squeegee everything down. Let gravity work for you. We'll come back and get our edges once we've trimmed the film. Again, check. Always double check. Make sure we're still lined up. One eighth of an inch on your blade. Start in the center and cut towards the corners. Once you've made that cut, you can hold your film and get that out of your way, the excess. Again, check again to make sure we're still lined up. And you can take your finger and run it into the corners to make sure we're all the way against the frame and repeat the process again starting in the center and cutting towards the corners now we want to go back make sure we have all the excess water and air out of our film. And when you're squeegeeing these edges, don't turn your squeegee because you will stretch the film. We want to make sure we carry it straight across. And again, like I said, I'm, I'm pushing the edges. And you can go back with your paper towels or your cotton cloth and wipe up any excess water. Try not to touch the film because it has yet to set. And there you go, tinted window. After the tinting process, we're going to want to give our window adequate time to properly cure. 30 sunny days is not uncommon. And you're going to notice a few hours a day after you've tinted the window that you're going to see little water pockets and it's going to look like bubbles to you. This is totally normal. Like I said, up to 30 sunny days for the window to properly cure and look like it's supposed to. So be patient on the drying process.